usually helps if I have my microphone on. How we doing? It's a Wednesday night. We're feeling good. We've got cheated. Really didn't feel like roasting it live on stream and also trying to find a chicken today was surprisingly difficult. So we went rotisserie from Costco. It's fantastic. We'll serve it up just like we, we would. Um, but we've got mashed potatoes. I know Shannon got after me for using uh, instant mash in the, um, I need to put this in the freezer, instant mash in the shepherd's pie the other day. So decided we'd make some fresh mashed potatoes to show that I can, in fact, make them. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, far too much stuff in my freezer. But I want it in my freezer so it can cool off. Um, yeah. How's everybody doing? You doing good? Living life? For those of you that are not in the United States, um, you get to join us anyway. Join us on this journey. So we're going to be making uh, Yukon Gold Mashed Potatoes. We're going to use some, I think I've only, I don't know if my, if I still have any cream, but if I don't, I have milk. Not a big deal. Um, we're going to be making cranberries with some orange juice. We're going to make those cranberries pop. They're going to be good. We're going to put a little bit of cinnamon in it. Um, we're going to do just some quick stovetop, stovetop stuffing. Um, and some quick brown gravy to go with the mashed potatoes. Um, not everything has to be homemade. And I'm a big advocate. If something is good and it's easy and it makes you want to do it. Not sponsored. Just it's good stuff. So we're going to use some, some stove top. Uh, stove top. <laughs> I can't talk tonight. Still not feeling all that great. That was part of why I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing this tonight. Um, I haven't, haven't felt the greatest last couple of days. Um, but had some friends really want me to, to do this tonight. So hopefully they show up. Um, and then to top it off, we're going to make some apple crumbles. <clears throat> I'm going to make one for now and leave all the ingredients for later. I have five more ramekins, but I'm going to keep the ingredients separate so that I can make them tomorrow at the actual dinner with my family. Um, I only need one for tonight anyway, so since it's just me. Um, yeah. So the potatoes are going to take a while. Um... I need to find a different lid because apparently I don't have a lid for that size pot. I'm buying new new pan, new pots, just full transparency. I need them. I'm tired of, of these old beat up ones. I'm just trying to get my kitchen situated again. Um, yeah, I'm glad I went and got brown sugar because I'm looking at the bag going, I don't have any, so I have a fresh bag of uh, dark brown sugar. Um, I prefer dark brown. Again, that's the molasses flavor that I like. Um, and then we're just going to use a, a, a mix of, of brown gravy, just so that we have something to go over the top of the chicken and the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. Um, I don't know yet which plate we're going to be plating on. Um, but I think it'll be good. Cell phone's charging because I need to be able to reference a few things. Because there's, <clears throat> I haven't made, I have not made apple crumbles. Um, I, I've made apple pie. Baking is not my strong suit, as I've stated before. 
Um, and I just need to remember ratios. I need to remember. I my brain is mush today. I don't know about y'all, but work. I, mean, I just I wasn't in it today. Um, it was a. It felt like a bit of a failure day. Um, for those of you that don't know, I work in cybersecurity. Um, and I literally spent the day fighting a SQL database. It happens. I Being ticked off at Microsoft is another thing. Um, it is what it is. You know what I just realized? I think I want to make... I think I want to buy some more of these... Um, I think I want to buy some more of these TP-Link cameras that I use for streaming over on YouTube uh, for my 3D printer. Seem to be really good quality. They're $20 a camera. They're IP cameras, so I can use them other times. And they're 2K, so they're higher resolution than these these things. I think they'll get me better quality for $20. Why does that not look like it's in there straight? Anyway. So yeah, I might buy some more of those cameras, especially because they're on Black Friday deal right now. Um, does anybody know these drinks? These were the treat that I got to have after a good day on the mountain, ski racing. Good stuff. Blackberry. So let's go ahead. These are already washed, ready to go. These are washed, they just aren't quite ready to go yet. We need to peel and slice the apples, which we'll do here in a little bit. Uh, I'm tempted to put the chicken in the oven on the heat warm setting for now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's. Get it on the keep warm setting kind of just bring it back up to temperature it's been sitting for just a little bit not too long um but i definitely want it want it warm when we serve so we'll go ahead and put it on keep warm and we'll go ahead and get these chopped up so we're just going to cube these up i like the skin on um with yellow golds you can do that or Yukon Golds, excuse me. Try to cut them to even sizes so that they, they cook evenly. We'll go ahead and bring our pot over here. I already have water in it. It is not hot yet. So we want to start these with a cold. With room temperature water. Um, that keeps them from cooking on the outside, but not the inside. And then we'll use a good potato masher to finish these all up. And what we'll do is we're going to bring these to a boil and then cook them until they are fork tender. Once they're fork tender, we will drain all the water out. I 
do want to salt this a bit. So we'll put some There. Now we're going to take this to medium high, cover her back up, and bring it to a boil. Oh. Let's go ahead and wipe down our cutting surface here. So the next part, I just realized you guys won't be able to see the camera, and that's kind of my bad. We're going to be doing the cranberries. I need a cup of orange juice and a cup of sugar. I have my little tiny Pyrex. to get the cranberries made we'll kind of let them come down to temp back down to room temperature while we cook the gravy and the, so we'll do the stuffing next and again we'll put that all on on keep warm um, the apple pies are going to take about 30 to 35 minutes to bake so we'll pull all that out we'll eat we'll hang out we'll have a good time uh, or, sorry the apple crumbles Uh, no, we're doing three quarters of a cup of sugar, sorry. Not a whole cup. Because I realized my Walmart delivery yesterday, it must have been out of the 12 ounce bag of cranberries. So they gave me the eight ounce bag of organics. Not super happy about that, but that's my own fault for not checking it. Not checking the because um, I would have just bought some today when I also went out when I probably shouldn't have. Um, I went to both Fred Meyer and Costco today. Bad freaking idea. Bad idea. Way too busy. Okay, so let's pour three quarters of a cup of orange juice. So... I'm also going to do something a little different in these. I'm going to add a little bit of bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. This stuff is like crack. Finally bought another bottle of it. use them. I'm trying to decide if I want to or not yeah we'll use a little bit so this is just gonna really change the flavor just a tad oh it's so good so, so good. Oh, we look around potatoes. Potatoes are still going. So, we need... It's not going to take much to make these boil because it's a small pan. What's everybody's plan for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Going to families, hanging out, doing nothing. 
cup of sugar, or three quarters of a cup of sugar. Definitely on my radar. For those of you, I did do a poll the other day. Looks like the copper has won. So we'll be ordering the copper um, Wow, my mind is really mush. We will be ordering the um, copper measuring cups and um, and measuring cups and spoons. God, I can't talk. I'm sorry, y'all. quarter teaspoon of cinnamon you can put nutmeg in it if you want um, I don't have any and I'm not about to spend $13 on a tiny little container right now so apple pie is going to be a little or apple crumble is going to be a little interesting as well So I'm just currently over here stirring this up, trying to get everything melted and incorporated. We'll bring this to a, a small simmer. Need to, I do need to rinse these. I have not rinsed the cranberries yet. So while that comes to a simmer, I will get the cranberries rinsed. bring to a boil and let Okay.
Got a good boil going there. We're gonna set a timer for 12 minutes. Mox! Uh, we have mashed potatoes, Yukon Gold mashed potatoes going. We are working on a cranberry sauce with orange juice, some cinnamon. It's gonna be good. Um, we are using a rotisserie chicken. I'm okay with that. Um, I don't have the time to, to do a full roasted chicken tonight. So, we're going to use a rotisserie chicken. We're going to use box stovetop uh, stuffing, but we're going to make the rest. So, just put the cranberries in, and I can show you those. There's the cranberries. They are in a mixture of orange juice, sugar, and cinnamon and some uh some bourbon barrel aged uh brown sugar or uh, bourbon barrel aged bourbon barrel aged maple syrup say that five times fast here in a minute we'll get the apples washed and um peeled and chopped up and then put in the cinnamon mixture just use a can not you know you missed missed what i said earlier today there is absolutely nothing wrong with store-bought anything if it encourages you to get in the kitchen and like i'm using store-bought stovetop tonight i mean it just that's how it is um there's nothing wrong. One of my favorite things is, is uh, I actually really like the jellied cranberries. It's that was my go-to growing up. Um, so absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. We're gonna bring that down to a simmer. Those are boiling nicely. Um, I should put my orange juice away. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong at all. And I'm using um, packaged brown gravy mix. I don't have the drippings. There's no point in making my own at the moment. So we're gonna use a package brown gravy. Yep, if it gets you in the kitchen, gets you not eating out at, the, at a restaurant. And you know, honestly, I don't feel like cooking all of this. Could I? Absolutely. Do I feel like it? No, not at all. Considering I'm cooking tomorrow, but we're not doing... So, we're not doing a traditional Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, I think we're doing crab cakes, meatloaf, Japanese milk bread. Just kind of all over the place. Just stuff we like. Um... I think I'm going to make some corn salsa, or not some corn salsa, some elote salad. I've got plenty of stuff to make that. So we'll just kind of see what it is, see what we got. Um, but I haven't had meatloaf in a really long time, and um, I was discussing with my mother about it, and we decided, you know what, that sounds good, let's do meatloaf. I 
I need to find a bowl to do the mashed potatoes in. And since we're only doing two potatoes, I think I can get away with this size. Except my potato mashing won't fit in it. Um, that's not going to work. I might have to go... I'll mash them in the thing and then put them in here. It's a glass bowl. I'll wrap it in some aluminum foil. Never had meatloaf. You know what? It's... Just as it's described, just meat, see, garlic, all sorts of stuff. Meat and garlic and onion and some breadcrumbs and egg as a binder. Throw it in, top it with some ketchup. Give yourself a nice ketchup crust on it. Serve it on the side with some, oh, there's Worcestershire in it. Or wash your sister sauce, depending on how you... How you think about it? Um, I love a good meatloaf. It just it hits the spot. Part of the reason why we're doing this now is this tech support. You reached the wrong number. Please try again. Five forty left on that. We're going to turn the heat up on this a little bit. We're not getting. Not getting the boil that I want out of this. Dad just hates it for some reason, so Mom never made it growing up. Need help setting up my next configuration? Sorry, please try again. My brain is mush, and I am useless today. I don't have enough pots to do everything that I wanted to do tonight all at once, so we're kind of stuck. Um, so we're just doing a Friendsgiving di uh, dinner tonight. Um, it's super fancy water. Hey, Lily. No, Wheels is not coming over. I haven't felt well, so I wouldn't want him to come over anyway. Plus, he's got his own thing, you know. He's got a whole family. I have just me. Didn't give him last food? Nope. Not giving him tonight's food either. I am legit only making one apple crumble tonight. So I'm going to start checking these potatoes. Nope, not yet. Nowhere near it. There we go. Now we got a good boil going. Good simmer going on the cranberries. I'm going to get the apples rinsed here. We're just going to use some Granny Smiths. They hold up best in um, You know, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. I do enjoy a good apple pie and an apple crumble and an apple crisp, but they're not my favorite. But they're classic this time of year. For me, it's anything either huckleberry or rhubarb.
or lemon. But that usually really confuses people. Where's my cork? Okay, cranberries are almost done. Had rhubarb and sauce with whipped cream on. Yeah, uh, so that was one of my favorite things. My neighbor, I haven't used this core in a long time. So we'll see how well it actually does. And miss. That's okay, it's close enough. Um, and my mother has been getting rhubarb from a friend of hers. So if I go up there to, to watch football on Sundays or whatnot, we'll do pancakes or waffles in the morning. Twice I've missed. Um, and she makes an awesome, awesome rhubarb sauce. on the potatoes those should almost be done going to get rid of most of the water uh no they are washington apples though. So, I need to add, I need to grab butter out of the freezer too because I'm apparently out in the fridge. We do grow some decent apples, although it's hard to beat apples from pretty much anywhere in this state. Kind of spoiled up here for them. Let's 
some of that in. A little bit of sour cream. A little bit of garlic. We'll do some salt and pepper. I wish I had white pepper for this reason. So there's some really nice creamy mashed potatoes. Nice, creamy, garlicky mashed potatoes, which I absolutely love. Okay, so, need to clean off this pan because, and this masher, because I need to use the masher right now. Move that out of the way, that's off. I need to wash the masher. some foil over the top of these mashed potatoes. I turn the heat off on that. And we're going to keep the mashed potatoes nice and warm. No sto no cornbread stuffing. Sorry, biscuit. I decided against the Parmesan cheese in the potatoes. 
So there are the um, cranberries. And again, I need to wash these pans real quick because I need to get this back on for the gravy. And I need to get the other one on for the stove top stuffing. Hold on stove top, I can stay for dinner. <laughs> yeah, it actually was, if you had stove top, so I grew up, we used breadcrumbs and made our own stuffing from, from scratch, um, using the turkey drippings. Uh, my mom liked oysters in hers. Uh, we also put the chick the turkey gizzard and uh, heart in there after it was boiled. Uh, so we grew up on on that type of. Stuffing, which was good, not a huge fan of oysters, also not a huge fan of turkey gizzard. Cornbread stuffing. Interesting. I have not tried that. Okay, my dumbass forgot to take the butter out, so we're gonna have an interesting time. I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice on the apples. I need to wash this out so I can get... ...stuffing going. Yeah, I just, I don't want to go overboard on how much I'm making tonight. But also I wanted to do some of the stuff that I told y'all I would. Um, we do have Saturday's stream. Um, Saturday we're going to be doing a chicken and broccoli alfredo with a spinach strawberry salad with balsamic vinaigrette and a lemon sorbet with a raspberry coulis for dessert. I'm not making the sorbet. Oh, D, thank you so much for the raid. Got to run and get dinner. Lost track of time. Hope stream is done. Thank you so much. Welcome, your friend Mario. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry I was over at the sink trying to get this pan cleaned out so we can do the stuffing. Um, we just finished making the mashed potatoes and the cranberries. The cranberries are cooling. Um, I don't... I. It's been forever since I've made stove top. Uh, I have cups of water, quarter cup butter. Do I have it? I do not. Oh, here we go. It's frozen, but it'll have to do. Thank you. Thank you. There. They've got. They're just cooling now. We should be able to see those a little better there. Kind of, not really. Uh, biscuit, we are not doing um, a turkey tonight. I am using a rotisserie chicken from Costco because I just didn't have time tonight. Anu, how are you? Welcome. For everybody coming in from D's stream, um, my name is Vet. Um, I've been 
variety streamer for years. Um, recently got back into my cooking streams. That's pretty much all I've done. Um, I do 3D modeling, 3D design, uh, 3D printing. Um, crushers, crushers. Um, I also do, obviously, cooking. Um, we try to do a... Um, I've been trying to do two to three cooking streams a week. So if you guys like watching cooking streams, you want to learn more, or you just want to watch somebody cook and probably screw stuff up, you're in the right spot. Don't forget about the hot tub streams. Haven't done one yet, but I do owe y'all one. Um, I need, what did it say? One and a half cups. I should use chicken stock for this. Yeah, I'm going to use chicken stock instead of chilling, getting overwhelmed on Icarus. Anu, if you guys want to open up, I'd love to play with you guys. But that is totally up to you. Please, the oldest first. Tons of these in my fridge. Or in my cupboard. Eh, it's close enough. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. That's who I am. Um, yeah, I'm just enjoying life. I still need to get the apples chopped up for the individual apple crumbles. <laughs> I'm going to go through so much butter in this meal tonight. Because the crumbles call for six tablespoons of butter, which is this right here. So I have the perfect amount for later. And of course I got aluminum foil all over my butter because I literally am pushing a knife through almost completely frozen butter. Oh. Green bean casserole. Sorry, I missed it. Green bean casserole is amazing. Um, I did not have time to pick up stuff for it tonight. Um, was not real high on my my list. Um, because I'd already set my menu like a week ago. Um, and actually, I'm surprised tonight's stream even happened. Um, because I haven't been feeling well. You've never made it yourself, always eat it at grandma's. You know, I love my grandmothers. Neither of them were very good at cooking. Um, yeah, neither. Um, my grandfather's wife, because both sets of my grandparents are divorced. To have a seal on it. Yeah, it didn't felt feel like it broke the seal though. I guess it's at the top, yeah. It doesn't smell rancid. By the way, pro tip, don't pour your bottle, so this is the spout, don't pour it this way. Pour it this way. Here's your spout up the top. It will pour smooth because the air is able to escape. Or the liquid is able to escape a lot easier. Yep, absolutely have way more control. All right, what else do I need in this? Do I need anything else? 
bring it to a boil in a medium saucepan. Okay, we're good. I really don't want a bunch of dishes to clean up after this. So we're gonna go ahead and, and get this washed and rinsed here. You like losing control? Some of them has a thing on the lid with tear. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I wasn't even thinking about green bean casserole. I'm trying. These are starting to brown. I need to cut these up real quick. I'm gonna put this over the sink here. I'm gonna need the bowls too because I'm gonna need somewhere to put the apples because I need to get some lemon juice on them. Brushers, I would expect no less of you than to have you pour it that way so you can lose control. My favorite part of, of helping when I was growing up was we had an apple core peeler slicer. So it would slice everything and it would pour everything all at once. Um, didn't have to peel it nice even sized um, apple chunks perfect lemon juice helps stop the browning on an apple Since we're not doing a traditional apple pie, we actually want to cube this up into pieces that will fit in this ramekin. I should grab a small bowl here. have like four scars on your fingers and apples potato peelers yeah those things are horrible that's what i liked about this uh core peeler slicer uh jig it actually mounted to the countertop and made it way easier to um, you didn't have to worry about it even these safety peelers that they have nowadays they're not I got myself good not too long ago with a peeler guessing crushers get your, your piece of your finger off with on a potato slicer yep sounds about right I think everybody has scars from some form of peeler or slicer like that
Okay. This is ready to go. We're just going to stir in the stuffing mix, which of course I don't have. There's a tinsel available. Yeah, Mox, there's now two of them. I'm afraid they're just going to feed off of each other, too. Apple's not nearly as nice. It's pretty bruised. some more apples. Hey, the Asian JC. How you doing, JC? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. How you doing? Good to see you. are doing prepping apples right now for apple crumble we're just gonna make individual sized apple crumbles um, I have the stovetop stuffing on right now um, we made cranberries earlier here's the cranberries they're just coming down to room temperature because they need to gel up a little bit um, and then the mashed potatoes are sitting on the stove and the rotisserie chicken is in the oven just kind of staying warm. Um, I'm going to be making some brown gravy here in just a few minutes. I want to get a couple of these or get this um, crumble in the oven. So that I can get back to doing everything else. I'm going to use some actual lemon for this. This is not part of the recipe, but I want to keep these, uh, keep these apples from me. Uh, 
tablespoons of brown sugar. Again, adding some lemon, and we'll do a quarter teaspoon of a quarter teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. This lemon is almost too big for my... Almost too big for my juicer. Also, this lemon kind of sucks. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All that work to keep the seeds out of this and open the freaking lemon press and I had the wrong size spoon. <laughs> Can't wait to eat this. Me either. So this should be done in about 40 minutes. Then what I'll do is once this is done, I'll get the gravy made. Or once these are once this one is in, I'll get the gravy made. That's been in there almost an hour. So I am just mixing up the apples and the brown sugar and the cinnamon. I don't, again, I don't have any nutmeg. Um, it's not a huge deal. You tape yourself to one of those, it'll be a lot quicker than 40 minutes. Doesn't matter where you are in the world at that point. Um, okay. That's been more than five minutes, but it's looking good. We'll go ahead and keep that hot. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm cleaning off my cutting board.
because next I need to do the turkey or the chicken. I'm actually going to use a spray on this rather than melting more butter over here. Good, so that'll be one of them. Back to my bougie water. I don't know what happened, y'all. I didn't even realize I was down. There is not a single torrent that is running in this place. I will not do it. Uh, Two-thirds of a cup. I need a bigger bowl than that. That's not going to be big enough. Nope, won't do it. Not happening here. Everything is on the up and up. I intentionally have anything like that blocked from my network. That way, even if people do get somehow get onto my network, they can't get to it. Brown sugar, how much? I need a cup of flour.
biscuit. So, Evox, welcome. back. Let's run it. How much cinnamon? teaspoon of cinnamon And I'm going to need a pinch of salt as well. So we got a pinch of salt. Now I need to melt the butter. And then we'll add it to the to this mixture here. Microwave safe. Yeah, so this is just going to be a crumble, so it's going to go on top. Should have taken this butter out long before I did. Tillamook is a far better butter. I'm stuck using challenge butter into my So yeah, what we'll do is once once we pour the butter in here, I'll just mix it up. We'll leave it pretty lumpy. 
Uh, and then we'll add some to the top of this. I need to, what do I need to set this up? What am I baking this at? 350. I gotta let this go like seconds at a time. And we're gonna go ahead and just use the butter in here to finish melting it and then I need to let it cool for a couple minutes I don't have my other ramekins in here otherwise I'd make the other ones um, I'm gonna go ahead and find my lid for this Leftovers from the, from last night. I'm not gonna eat them. Let's be realistic. and make the gravy. I'll we'll do that here in just a second actually. Leave it pretty big. Make sure it's nice and thoroughly incorporated. You're starving watching this? Hey, I like doing that. All right, so how much are we putting on here?
shouldn't eat raw flour. Don't do it. All right. So there is the top of our crumble. Gravy condiment. Put it on everything. <laughs> nice. My solo. Of water, bring to a boil, reduce heat, simmer for a minute. That's easy enough. When in one cup of water, bring to boil, stirring continually. We need a timer set for 30 minutes. And starting. So that is the um, crumble that's going now. And I've got my whisk here. Have a fair few dishes to get done after this, but that's okay. This should not take long to come to heat. Once it does, we'll set a one minute timer. And then Nessie will be our gravy ladle. So what plate should I use tonight, y'all? Grab an Amazon link for you. Every little penny helps me. I'm quick. I should create a wish list of like all the stuff that I have. I need to get the rest of the family.
They've got a ton of stuff. They've got a garlic, uh, uh, is it a garlic press that's made like a bat, vampire bat, <laughs> or like a vampire? Um, so I have a license for Monster Cat Gold, um, so that's what's playing. I I don't have the music where I can hear. Um, the music is for y'all, uh, but I pay for Monster Cat Gold, which is absolutely fantastic. Everything's licensed. I can have it on my my stream. I can use it on YouTube. I need to set a timer for one minute. Set a timer for one minute. seconds y'all Coming in here with the chicken. I'm gonna move the plate for now because I need to slice up the chicken. here. So go ahead and cut that apart. This chicken is definitely trussed up. Legs broken off of here. Alright, so there's the top thrust bone. We'll just come in here and we will cut that breast meat off.
we will make sure we use as much of this chicken as we can. I will save the rest of this chicken meat. I wish I had a bigger kitchen, y'all. It would be so much nicer if I did. Yeah, uh, you know, it's fantastic. This whole rotisserie chicken already cooked from Costco was $4.99. I can't even get chicken breast by itself. At least not that much for that price. It is that time. We are going to get this all plated. One food item that didn't get hit with the inflation. Costco actually does that intentionally. Um, it's the same with their um, hot dogs and not raising the rates on the hot dogs either. They're willing to lose money on those because it gets people in the door. Yep, because look, I look at how much I spent beyond just the chicken. Don't know that I want one of the legs on there.
Oh, chat rocks. There's too much stuff in here. Doing good. As you can see, these cranberries have thickened up quite nicely. Not the best spot for it, but that's okay. I do want one more slice of I'm going to wind up taking those cranberries up to my parents' house tomorrow. As always, a Thanksgiving meal, with a Friendsgiving meal, should always, always be full and heaping. I don't care what the top restaurateurs who only give one little piece of food with their meals say I like that it's got plenty to it it's easy It's fresh. We still have about 12 minutes left on the crumble. Um, I'm going to eat some of the other stuff because I want to. I'm going to just eat a little bit of this, but I'm not going to eat it off of that plate. I'm going to save that photo for later, but I will eat all of that because let me tell you, cooking this has been has made me really hungry. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit in a bowl. We'll save that for here in a little bit once we get the crumble out. I do love this Nessie ladle. If you don't, if you haven't ordered one, highly recommend. Just a little bowl for myself.
Which one crushes the ladle? The Nessie ladle? There's an uh, Amazon link up in chat a little bit. Black, red, and orange one. Oh, this one. Yes, thank you. Took me a second. Um, yeah, I got that as a Christmas gift last year. Maybe it was two years ago. I love that, that spoon. I want to go up to the um, spot where they got it because it's at a local shop um, when they were traveling. And so I want to go up and um, check it out and see if they have any others. I'd love to get a whole set of it. It's good though. Mashed taters could probably use a little bit more garlic. I think I should throw some chive on there. Just a little bit of chive on top. Oh my gosh, those cranberries are so good. Highly recommend, if you like cranberries, probably one of the easiest recipes. Super tasty. I did add a little bit of that... Um, did add a little bit of the um, bourbon barrel uh, maple syrup to it. So if you have some maple syrup, definitely worth a shot of throwing some of that in. Yeah, that gives it a little little contrast, little flavor, a little pop. Yeah. Definitely the right choice on that. Seven minutes or so, y'all. I'm excited for this crumble to come out of the, the oven. So what's everybody doing tomorrow for their, their Thanksgiving? Any major plans? Somebody want to cook for me? <laughs> um, Anu, it is just a store-bought uh, stuffing mix. I think I threw the box away already. No, I didn't. So I just get the savory herbs, um, stovetop stuffing. I didn't feel like making it from scratch tonight. Um, it's good though. Actually, it's surprisingly good for a store-bought um, store uh, stuffing. Um, it's... Um, Basically, cubed up breadcrumbs, not crumbs, so to speak, but they're just uh, 
cubed up bread. It probably has sage. It probably has. So let's see. Um, so it has chicken broth in it, which I actually cooked it in chicken broth, which made it even better. Um, there's celery, parsley, garlic, turmeric, um, rosemary, uh, onions, um, and I think some parsley and some other, just kind of your more savory herbs um, in this particular one. But it's really actually pretty good. It's Stuffing is usually made... A lot of times you'll make it with some of the drippings, you'll make it with, <clears throat> some people make it with oysters, um, some people make it with the um, turkey gizzard, which I grew up, my, my mother made that with all of that in it. Um, but yeah, it just, it's, a lot of people use apple in it, which is really good. Um, I actually like apple in mine. Um, which this didn't have, but it's just cooked down apple. Oh, it's smelling good. It is smelling good. Oh! First of all, my drink. Need to take that out before it freezes. Another tradition around Thanksgiving for kids. I didn't really want alcohol tonight. Oops. Sorry, y'all. So I did some more sparkling cider. Sparkling cider. Only I didn't do the peach this time. That was interesting. First time I've ever had that happen. So this thing is double covered on the top. That was weird. After I'm done with the cooking stream tonight, I need to obviously finish breaking down the chicken. And then I need to put all my food away. So we're just going to pour a glass of sparkling cider. We did peach last time when we had the peach cobbler. Tonight we're just gonna do the traditional sparkling cider. Good old Martinelli's sparkling cider. Can't imagine this being more than a couple more minutes. It's good stuff. What am I doing? I'm looking for something. I think I let this go too long. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I... 
So I have a thing, um, it's a personal thing. I won't do eggnog, I won't do anything Christmas related. I won't do any of that until after Thanksgiving. Um, I have some very personal reasons for it. Um, but I'm looking forward to eggnog here in about a week or a couple of days. Really, I'll probably go on Friday. We may even have the eggnog with Saturday's stream. Cider I drink year round, doesn't matter. Um, I'm very much a pumpkin spice kind of person. So let's check this. What did I do with my... Yeah, the eggnog and Christmas stuff has to wait. put this stuff on. It sucks. My kitchen is not very big at all. Unfortunately, I don't have any ice cream tonight. That is stoneware. It is extremely hot. But there is a meal fit for a king. y'all that is my thanksgiving feast my friends giving a feast Thank you. I cannot take credit for it. Um, that is Costco, and it is fantastic. Um, but it just goes to show you can make a really, really good meal. And the, the chicken from Costco was only dirt cheap. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I had a lot of fun with this one. I didn't feel like I was pressured on the chicken to roast a whole chicken, which would have taken far too long, hour and a half. On a, it's worth it because all of the chicken that I have on the, the carcass over here, I will be, I'll take the carcass and I'll turn it into stock. Um, and then I will take all of the chicken meat and I'll turn it into salads. Um, so I'll make a bunch of elote salads. I'll make uh, some chicken soup. I'll, I'll make a bunch of different stuff. Um, and so it's so awesome to have. And you can use... Uh, Lily. <laughs> Lily, don't give me ideas. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can make so much with it. It's just so worth it. Um, even if you roast your own. I, the, the great thing about roasting your own is then you turn around after you clean all the meat off of it, roast those bones some more, throw them into a stock pot with some uh, onion and carrots and rosemary and thyme and build this just some bay leaf and just build this fantastic stock. And all of that marrow out of the bones will, will seep out into the stock. I'll give you this just luxurious tasting stock. Um, but yeah, so that's that's it for tonight. 
I, I really am looking forward to Saturday. I'm hoping everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving that, that celebrates it. I know there's a couple of you in, in here that that don't. But let's go see who is online, who's live. And let's go see if we have somebody to raid. Momo is playing Valorant. Let's go say hello to Momo. All right, y'all. Oh, Omega's, Omega's in, uh, I haven't rated Omega in a long time. I didn't see Omega. There he is. Let's go rate, let's take, take y'all over to, to Omega. Omega to you, friend of mine. Good guy, really, really nice guy, actually. Go show him some love. And I will see you guys on Saturday. Make sure you come in and join us again on Saturday for um, the chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to that one. We're going to do that with a spinach and strawberry salad with a balsamic vinaigrette. I'm not making the vinaigrette, it's one that I really like. Um, again, using off the shelf product is absolutely perfectly fine. Uh, and then we're doing a lemon, leaf, lemon sorbet, which I'm not going to make because I don't have the, the uh, tools to do so properly, um, with a raspberry coulis, which we will make. So, looking forward to that. And yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday. Thanks so much for hanging out. And make sure you follow all of the social media. Follow my Twitter. That's going to be the best place to get updated information. Uh, and make sure you join the Discord if you haven't. Thanks, y'all. Have a good night.